So this question starts off by providing us with this equation here. Um, it goes on to say, in the given equation, k, okay, so k is there, is a constant. The equation has no solution, so very important word choice. What is the value of k? All right, so how do equations have no solution? So on this test, there's two ways, and they, they go together, by the way. So the first thing that we're looking for is for the variables to cross out. So somehow, the variables have to cross out. So variables must cross out. That's the first step. The second step is that whatever remains after crossing those variables out, I'll say remaining, isn't true. Right? So it's not a true statement. And that might not be so obvious as to what I mean right now, but you'll see in a second. So isn't true. So let's see, the only variables we have here are x, right? So we only have a single variable that's x. So if I wanted to combine my like terms here, if I wanted to combine x terms, and let's say I had 1 half x plus 5 equals kx plus 7, but I wanted to subtract kx from both sides and subtract 5 from both sides, which is technically what we would do in order to solve for x, then I'd be left with 1 half x minus kx equals 2, right? Now, in order for this first step here to be accomplished, some, k has to be some value that makes the x terms cross out. Well, what would that value be? It could only be 1 half, right? So if k were 1 half, then I'd have 1 half x minus 1 half x, which would, in fact, cross out. So k equaling 1 half is the thing that's necessary. And you'll see that if k were 1 half, then this would become 0 equals 2, and that is not true, right? That is not a true statement. So that's how we would accomplish the second part of this. So your answer here is 1 half.